Hey guys, it's me. Um, I am here to do my 38 week update. Sorry. Um, I am 38 weeks and two days because it's after midnight. So I'm technically 38 weeks and two days. Um, tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Which, when I wake up, I'll text it in 38 weeks and two days. But anyway, um, we are going to go to Target because I recently got a gift card from my dad um, for a baby present. And uh, he said to use it on something that we need, and we didn't get a diaper gene. So we're going to get one of those, sorry, my hair is a wreck right now, but, um, so we're going to get a diaper genie, and then that's probably about it that we're going to use that for, and we're going to save the rest to see what else we're going to need. Um, let's see. I have an appointment on Wednesday, and they will continue to check me. And, uh, so, hopefully I'm dilated more. Um, lately, like, I've just been feeling, you know, more pressure. Um, and everything like that. And then, like, small, like kind of crampy feeling in my lower abdomen, the pelvic area. And that is what I have been doing before tonight. We went on a walk tonight. We went on a walk last night, and I didn't experience this last night, but I experienced it tonight. And, um, we went on a walk, and it was probably about maybe close to two miles. And so we went on a walk, and the entire time we were walking, about halfway through, and all the way back, um, in like my really, in like my really low pelvic area, I had this sharp pain. And like it wasn't anything to where I couldn't stand it, but it hurt. And like it was the entire, like it would like go like barely, it would go away, but it was still there. But then it would come back again. So I didn't know what that was. I didn't know if it was like some sort of contractions or something. I don't know. Um. So, um, but I finally put my car seat in my car. The car seat in the car. Um. So, hopefully, after tonight, I'm gonna start. We're gonna start walking almost every night. Hopefully. So maybe. She'll be here soon. Maybe. Hopefully. Um. I need to clean my car, actually. Like, I need to wash it. Sorry, my stomach itches. I need to lotion on. But, um, I need to wash it and vacuum it out really bad. So, I need to do that soon. Um, I have cleaned and sterilized all the bottles and nipples and pacifiers. I was going to do it actually a few weeks ago, but I decided to wait because I was like, probably too soon. Excuse me. Um, so I waited and I just did it the other day. Um, so yeah, but I am hoping labor comes soon and I go into labor soon and I have a really soon. So I'd rather not be induced. But if that's what they have to do, that's what they have to do. Because if she's not here for my due date, I'm all for inducing. Because I don't want to wait much longer. So. Um. Let's see what else. I really don't know. I'm lost for words. Anyway, this is my second time doing this video because 
my last video was really, really, really long, and I can't figure out how to edit and edit and take things parts out, so I'm just remaking it. Because I made one last night, and I was just like, mm, well, I can't figure out how to edit it, so I'm just going to have to make another one. So yeah. So... Me again. Sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning so, yawning so much, but it is like 1.30 in the morning, so I need to go to bed here soon. Since we are going out to Fairview tomorrow, we are going out to the mall tomorrow. To, we're not the mall, just to Target. To get our diaper key. Um, anyway, so... I don't know if I told you this or not, but we actually went yard sailing. It was a couple weekends ago. I don't remember. But we found this bouncer. It's a really cute bouncer. It's like a newer one. And um, it was like originally a $70 to $80 bouncer, and we got it for $10. It doesn't even look like Excuse me. It doesn't even look like it could be. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to quit. But it doesn't even look like it's been used, like, at all. So, that was awesome. I was so glad we found it, and, like, it's so cute. I'll show you at the end of the video. The bouncer. Um, we do not have the swing here yet. That's at Nick's house. So, um, sometime this week, we're going to bring it over. So, we have the swing here. Because we're gonna, I'm gonna need that. Um, let's see. I want to show you something really nifty that I think everybody should have. Because sometimes you know how in diaper bags, like they give you the, the changing pads, but like sometimes they're just too big to fit into the diaper bag. So I got these for my baby shower, and they're disposable changing pads. They just fold out. So, and it's just a disposable changing pad, and you can lay that down. Alright, the fan's like blowing it. But on this side, I don't know if you can see how if it's shiny or not, but it's like, like easy wipe off stuff, and then this side is just a cloth. So, but they're disposable changing pads, and I thought these were the neatest thing ever. Because, like, if you can't fit that changing pad in your diaper bag that they give you, you know, then you can just use those. And they're, they're, like, really compact, and they fit in the diaper bag. Like, I have some in my diaper bag right now. Like, it's just, I thought it was really nifty. Um, let's see. I keep yawning, I need to quit. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I'm starting to hate my dryer. <laughs> like, they, it, my dryer gives a whole new meaning to dryers eat socks. I went, this makes me so mad too because I really, really like these socks. Um, I washed, I was finishing up washing all her clothes the other night and Everything went in the dryer. I know it did. Everything did. Everything went in the dryer, but not everything came out. Like, it only did it to one pair of socks. And they're the cutest ones, and they say, I love daddy on them, and they're white, and then they got pink on them, and it says, I love daddy. And they were so cute, and I now only have one of them. One of them is missing. So, that kind of made me mad, because those were just socks were just so cute, and now they're gone. So yeah, that kind of made me mad, but um, there's not much I can do about it. So this video is probably really boring. I just don't really have much to talk about, but um, I guess that's it. I go to the doctor. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I go to the doctor Wednesday, so we'll find out more then. And then tomorrow night I have our second childbirth class. 
Mm. So, don't know if I'm going to make it to the third one. Kind of hope I don't, because <laughs> I just want her to be here. But at the same time, I want to make it to it. But we'll find out. So, um, I guess I will just show you the bouncer and then show you my belly. And that'll be it, because I really don't know what else to update on. So, yeah. I will show you the bouncer and show you my belly, and then we'll be done. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm plugged because I'm not using my camera right now. It's too lazy. This is the pain in the butt to have to record it and then upload it and all that good stuff. So here is the, sorry. Here is the bouncer. It's so cute. I love it. I'm like, it's just simple and it's got vibrations and then turn it on here it's got music it's got like three or four different musics and then this one's just different like outside the sound and stuff like that and then this little bear the lady gave us this with it it's like a little bear with the blanket on it it's got that underneath it it's just, like satin it's really cute and then it's got a mirror and just a little toy and this goes back like that so yeah i love this bouncer it's so cute i will show you my belly and that'll be it I said I don't have really much to talk about. Shorts are ridiculous. Okay, so 38 weeks and two days. I feel huge. Oh, my shorts are like digging down here. It hurts. Like, I think she's dropped more, even more. It feels so ginormous. It. I will hopefully, but hopefully not, <laughs> see you next week in my next video. Um, but that's it. So, bye.